Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hazik, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Theta. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. If you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to watch that before watching this one. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now, let's jump into the TA. So switching over to the weekly chart, as you can see, we have printed a new low. We had a wick all the way down to 80 cents, which was a good entry in my opinion. If you take a look at this high that we printed all the way back in September of 2020, that's exactly where we wicked and that's exactly what we retested here in November 2022. So that's a very important level for us to keep an eye on in the future. In the near future, we might even, uh, you know, close a couple of candles around this level and just uh, have a little sideways move, a sideways market over here until we start moving to the upside. However, you are in this falling wedge. As you can see, you have multiple bounces off the support level, multiple bounces off the resistance level. So with a pattern like this, uh, usually you see a 75% chance of a break to the upside. And if we do that sometime, let's say in January, uh, your technical target would be all the way up here at $1.66. Now, also what you could target, and you could say that we may not even meet that target because we do have a couple of resistance levels on our way, or in our way, I should say. And as you can see, the white trend line here is one of those more important resistance levels because we've been hitting this white trend line for quite some time if you switch over to the daily chart it's a lot easier to see but you can see that you do have multiple wicks to this area and that's a major resistance level and we also had the support level uh, that we created in march of 2021 we retested it multiple times during spring and summer 2021 even january this year we fell out of it in april and we still haven't had the back test of resistance so i would say that this area over here where you have the pink trend line and the white trend line crossing i would say that is a very strong resistance level on top of that, you also have the 1.618 Fibonacci retracement level sitting at $1.40. That could also be a major resistance level for us to look at if we start breaking out. Uh, but your technical target obviously is up here, $1.67. That's what you should be targeting if you're looking for this pattern to play out, obviously, and you want to buy off of this support. Uh, then uh, you let me just get that and show you what kind of profits potentially you're looking at here so if you entered off of this support to the one point uh to the technical target that's going to be 96 percent and if you entered off of the support trend line and you're looking to exit at the 1.618 that's going to be a 69 percent move to the upside so as you can see there is uh there is a possibility to make money even in bear markets. Some altcoins have done a 3x in a couple of months. For example, Cosmos and Polygon, those have gone 3-4x since uh, their bottoms uh, in June. And potentially also what could happen is we might just adhere to the resistance and support trend lines here for the next coming months. And we get to the apex of the pattern. And that's actually when we see the break to the upside. That's also very possible. What is also possible is that we see the S&P 500 uh, stock market crash after the Fed finally pivots. Because usually we see the S&P 500 crash after the Fed pivots, and it is going to happen. And once that happens and the uh, the S&P crashes, the crypto market is going to crash as well. I'm pretty certain of that. And if that happens, obviously altcoins are going to drop like crazy. So potentially we could be looking at a lower support level here for Theta. So if you simply want to set up buy limit orders in advance, just in case we get to that area, I'm not going to stop you, right? I'm going to say that that's a very smart thing to do, especially if you have a ton of spare cash. So the next support level would be down here at the 2.272 Fibonacci retracement, which is going to be at 53 cents. But obviously, we all know that we should set up our buy limit orders slightly above the support levels. So I would say just set it up at 53 and a half, 53, 6 cents, something along those lines. And you also have a trading range in this area, as you can see, if I... Uh, highlight this you can see you have a high here that you printed September 20th 
2020 and you have a low here that you printed November 20th uh, or November 2020. And if I extend this, you can see that it perfectly aligns with this second Fib level and with the 2.272 uh, Fibonacci level. So that trading range is what I think could hold us up in case we see one last capitulation for crypto, which is possible. Don't get me wrong. I would love the market to bottom out here. And obviously it looks like a bottom. It really does look like a bottom, doesn't it? But when you have that S&P 500 crash, I don't think crypto is going to be, I don't think crypto is ma mature enough to st stay on its own or stand on its own and, and just, uh, you know, continue pumping or just, you know, staying on existing levels when you have the, the stock market crashing. So I think when that happens, we're going to see Bitcoin crumble down and depends on where Bitcoin is at that time. If we come back up to $25,000, then Bitcoin may come back down to sixteen fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. However, if Bitcoin is still at sixteen seventeen thousand dollars $17,000 and we have the stock market crash because of the Fed's pivot, then Obviously, Bitcoin might retest ten, twelve thousand dollars, and that would be great for us because we are going to have incredible buying opportunities. So I would just uh, take that as a positive, and obviously have some money saved up as well. Now let's switch over to the daily chart here real quick because I do want to switch over to the Binance later on as well. So on the daily chart, um, let's take a look at this smaller Fibonacci retracement that we have. So as you can see, we have a swing high in November and the swing low is all the way back in October. And as you can see, our 1.618 target is sitting here at 72 cents, slightly higher than that actually. And we've already lost our October low. So we are on our way down here to the 7, um, 72 cents area. And uh, if I just take a trend line here, you can see that there's some sort of a pattern playing out. Uh, but potentially a broadening descending uh, wedge, as you can see. But I do think we're going to drop down and at least carry out our technical target here. So 72 cents, great entry for theta, in my opinion. Switching over to the daily chart, as you can see, we lost the yellow support trend line and now we're back testing it as resistance here, bouncing up and down in between the green support block and the yellow resistance. Because once you lose a level, it becomes your resistance automatically. Hopefully you know that by now, if you've been a long time viewer of the channel. But what is happening over here is we're running into a resistance level and uh, we're getting sent back down because this level was a support level for quite a while. As you can see, you had bounces from that area. You had a little fake out here. Then you went above, you came back down, little fake out above and a back test of resistance here. So I would start dollar cost averaging once theta comes back down to 34.87 on the RSI and anywhere below that, obviously. And you just have to compare that with the price action as well. So the price action is seeing a little uh, a little bounce here from the support trend line. So uh, if we come back down to 82 cents, I think that's a great entry. But in general, theta below 90 cents, that's a steal in my opinion. If you're bullish on the project and you know what they're doing and you want to get involved with theta, which I'm not doing right now because I have other projects that I'm targeting. But for theta and all of you, wondering when to enter theta i would say below 90 cents you can start dollar, dollar cost averaging but i'm just saying be careful don't go all in because there's always the potential we might see uh, another capitulation another black swan event and we may come back into these into this blue support block here that we created because of this uh, trading range here in 2020. So I'm just saying we might retest that as support and come back up from there so that's going to be our sort of next bottom uh, or actually final bottom in the uh, in the crypto market uh, winter here. So now let's switch over to the Binance website. All right, taking a look at the weekly here on the Binance website, as you can see, we are having a, another retest of the descending support trend line, which is basically the same trend line we just had. And you also have a major resistance trend line here, which is this yellow trend line. So we have run we have run into that area once in August and uh, once in November here. And so the first was obviously August 2022 and right now November 2020 or August 20. Yeah, August, August 2022 and November 2022. Sorry, got confused there. Uh, I thought it was 2021 for a second. And uh, you lost this support trend line 
let me just uh, change the color of that one so it's not too confusing for you. We're going to change that to green. Let's let's do a green color there. So the green trend line here is actually a support descending trend line that we lost. We've been holding it since May 2022. We lost it in November and we're actually opening candles below it. So that's quite negative but we found another descending support trend line that we're holding right now. And you have the yellow trend line, uh, you know, suppressing us down every time we come up to it. So if we have a relief rally, you may run into, you know, $1 here and then start coming back down. Uh, and yeah, that's something to keep an eye on. Obviously, we have another Fibonacci retracement here, a bit of a different one. So you have the August 2022 high. And you also have the, where's the low? And here's the low, the October 2022 low. All right, actually, I don't know why it's set up that way. Let me just, let me just switch it up a little bit because usually the low should be before the high, right? So that's going to be our low there in, in June and that's going to be our high in, in August. So once you lost this low in June, you have a technical target all the way down here at 60 seven cents roughly and if you continue gradually uh going down in this downward slope you might eventually get there in in 2023 in january and that could be your bottom and you may start breaking out of this resistance level of the yellow trend line that could be something we might see but i do think it's very possible that we have this technical target met but it's difficult to say whether you know you buy now or, or later obviously i would say yeah start dollar cost averaging right now but don't put all of your money in right uh, if you see the price drop more just put in more you see the price drop more put in more and just have these buy orders ready and set to go based on the fibonacci retracement or based on the emas whatever you're basing it off or if you like what i do on the charts and you and you you know you p paste that into your chart do it based on that and uh yeah that's Pretty much what I have here for you uh, regarding Theta. If you enjoy the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe. And I usually don't ask for these things, but during a bear market, uh, obviously people aren't that interested in crypto, so there's less demand. So if you want to share this video around with your friends and family, if you think it's going to help them out, that would be very much appreciated. But thank you for watching. Feel free to check out my Patreon and feel free to follow me on Twitter.